All right, let's go ahead and get going on the lesson six practice rhythm. Now in here, you'll notice that I have a combination of major, minor, and dominant seventh chord. And so anyway, one thing that's kind of neat about this, going through this practice rhythm that I've put in place, is it's gonna allow you to see when you make a transition from one chord, you can actually sometimes keep some fingers in position in order to get to another chord. And so say for example, if you look at the first part that has the G, D, A minor, and D minor. Now when you transition from the A minor to the D minor, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna keep your middle finger planted and just move the ring finger and pinky in order to get to the D minor. So it's gonna kinda allow you to have a little bit of a foothold already when you're inside that A minor when transitioning to the D minor. And then same way with the second part that has the E minor, C, A7, and D. Now you're gonna start off with the E minor and then make a quick transition to the C. But when you go from the C to the A7, one thing that's kind of neat is that you can actually keep your index finger and your middle fingers in that same position and then just slide that ring finger down just in front of the index finger on the second fret. And so the only finger that you're actually going to be moving when you make that transition is just going to be your ring finger. Uh, once you get into the A7, go ahead and play that and then you can go ahead and just make a regular transition to the D. And so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. G major. D major. A minor. D minor. G major. D major. A minor. D major E minor C major A7 D major All right, let's go ahead and put it all together. We'll take all the pauses out. <laughs> 